What's up guys, Vaping Gamer here. Alright, today we're going to finish up the Red Rock Vapor review. So I got three more juices from Red Rock Vapor that they sent me. Um, I've waited long enough. It's, it's time to go. They've steeped for about almost a month now. So I think they're fully developed and ready to vape. Um, the longer they're steeped, the better they're going to taste. But, you know... I think it's time to finish it up, but these ones I kind of held on the back burner because I think they, you know, I needed, they just needed that extra steep time, so stick around, we're going to get into it, and I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like, so uh, don't go nowhere. Welcome back. So let's get into it. Today we're going to be vaping some of this stuff. Uh, this is the other three juices that were sent to me from Red Rock Vapor, an e juice shop out of Las Vegas. All right. Um, so today we're going to be looking at, and uh, uh, these are out of different lines now. So this one is from um, their candy line. This is gummy candy. So this is a gummy bear juice. And as you can see, it's got a little color to it. These were pretty colorless when I got them. So they, this one's got a little bit of color to it, and these ones are still kind of faint, but they still have, you know, a little bit of color. Um, these are out of the Green Goodies line. Now, what a Green Goodies line is, it is a uh, weed-type uh, e-juice. Um, it doesn't have THC or CBD or anything like that in it, but it is kind of flavored at that. So you're going to have the weed mixed in there with some fruits. So let's get into it. I'm going to do the gummy bear one first, and then we're going to get into these. So uh be vaping them with my IPV 4S and my troll. As always, fresh cotton, fresh coils. So let's go ahead and drip this gummy candy. And once again, I reiterate, I love these drip tip bottles here. Um, they're clipped, so they um, you don't have to squeeze too hard to get the juice out of them, which I really like. And again, if you watch part one, the one thing that I you know did want to say um, was to you know get the keep away from children the warning labels off of the you know on these bottles because it's not present here. But I like the logo, I like the bottles, you know. I like these type of bottles, they don't ever leak. Rather than the, the screw-on dripper ones, those leak, these don't. So, you know, that's one of the things I do like about these guys. So Red Rock, you do got good bottles. All right, so uh, we got dripped on on the gummy candy here, so let's go ahead and give this a vape. Let's turn on my damn mod first. But uh, this is a, I wrapped these coils last night. So they are nice and fresh, and uh, I'm going to be vaping, let's see here, I'm going to drop it down here, about 65 watts, so I'm going to vape this at 65 watts, 4.26 volts, it's reading uh, 0.28, so uh, here we go, gummy candy from Red Rock Vapor. And it's gummy bears, man. Straight up. It tastes like gummy bears. And it's a mix of all the gummy bear flavors. Not just one. It's kind of like a, a collage of gummy bear flavor. Which is really good. It's really tasty. I really like it. I would definitely come back for this. Now I know um, these guys have a signature gummy bear e-juice. Um, and I believe it's the white gummy bear flavor. Um, but it's, I guess it's everybody's favorite gummy bear flavor into an e-juice. It's not a blend of all the flavors. It's just the one flavor of gummy bear. So you can check that out if that's what you're into. Um, but this is just comes off good. It comes in fruity, comes out candy, you know, fruity candy. That's definitely what you're going to get with this. And I gotta say, you know, it's on par with other gummy bear juices I've tried. Gummy bear from Vape Wild, very similar. Um, it is just a good gummy bear juice. So if that's what you're into, definitely check out Red Rock Vapor, their um, gummy candy juice. But that's not what we're here for. I know this is one a lot of people have been kind of waiting for, in these green goody ones. I myself was very excited to try these. And, um,. I have two of the Green Goody juices. I have the Hawaiian Dank and I have the Maui Wowie. Now the Hawaiian Dank is supposed to be, of course, Mary Jane mixed with a tropical punch flavor. So I'll go ahead and do that one first. 
Brian Dank. I mean, Tropical Punk. I mean, that's... Oops. There I go dropping shit again. You guys know me. Anyway. But one thing that, you know, you just think when you see think Hawaiian Dank is, you know, Hawaiian Dank. <laughs> Hawaiian Punch, you know, and then Dank. So, you know, definitely a Tropical Punch type weed. Um, so if that's what you're into, um, this one I had to wait so long because... The art, the weed flavor they have in there is just so artificial. It tastes more like spices mixed together than it actually does to marijuana. If you're getting bud that tastes like this, you're getting just bad weed. Um, I really think that they, they could uh, work on their Mary Jane flavor a little bit, especially the ones on the white tank. It just tastes so artificial and fake. It doesn't taste like real weed. If you, you know, not that I'm saying that I've smoked weed, but you know, you can, it doesn't taste like weed. So I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> But the real bugger about it is you get little to no tropical punch. And that's what I thought it would be heavy in. I wanted it to be heavy in tropical fruit punch. And I wanted it to be light. I just wanted to have a hint of that Mary Jane flavor kind of peek through. But it's the complete opposite. You get full force artificial marijuana taste with almost little to no tropical punch. And that is just, you know, the opposite. But what I did do was I started mixing this shit with other flavors. I would drip... Uh, a little bit of this and then I took a uh, pinkle twinkle from vape wild it's a pink starburst and I mixed it and it is delectable I mean it's just great I mean great so I think that if this is heavier on the fruit aspect and less heavy on the, you know the weed aspect I think it would come through and be a great juice that's just you know but that's my personal preference a lot of you guys might like this artificial you know marijuana flavor and that's totally cool but for me personally I'm not saying it's a bad juice there's somebody out there who will like this juice it's just not for me I think when it comes to this juice I think it should be heavy in the fruit and I think it should be you know very subtle with the weed it should just peek through just the tiniest bit but when you vape this it's all you get is artificial weed with almost no hint of fruit and when you smell it all you get is a tropical punch smell so you're thinking you're gonna get this nice tropical punch fruit flavor and then you vape it and you're just like holy shit what happened and I don't know if it was you know mixed wrong or whatever maybe it's just this batch of it but I really think it could be done better I think that it should be heavier in the fruit aspect and the weed should be an afterthought I know it's a green goodies juice but you know it, those you know the green goodies should peek through and that's the goodie you know what I mean it should be a little surprise at the end of it you know or the, the very beginning of it just kind of peek in but then boom in your face tropical punch which you get none of you just it's the smell that's all it is I mean you could vape this for you know five six hits and barely get a hint of the tropical punch and that's just not what I'm looking for I'm not saying it's bad. Like I said, taste is subjective, and this will be for some people. But for me, it's just not there. I don't prefer it. Like I said, I would like to have more of the fruit in front, heavier and full force, whereas just the hint, I want the hint of that Mary Jane kind of peeking through, you know what I mean? And again, like I said, this tastes nothing like real weed. It's, I mean, you can tell they're trying to imitate that, but it doesn't smell, it doesn't have any a close taste. And if, like I said, if you're buying weed like this, man, I'm sorry for you. And all right, um, so that's that, you know. I prefer the, and one thing I also did notice with this, it was when I tanked this, that flavor that's just so in your face kind of just overtakes the cotton. And anything you put on there afterwards, you're still getting hints of that flavor, which I did not like. But like I said, that's just my personal preference. I think that this will be for some people. Um, just not for me. I would prefer it to be um, more fruity and less of the artificial weed taste. And like I said, that artificial weed taste, all it needs to be, it needs to be played with because I think it's too heavy and it tastes like a bunch of like you took a bunch of household spices and mixed them together and got this just blend of just crazy spices. That's what it tastes like to me. So you know, I think that. It, it could be done better. All right, next we're going to do this Maui Wappy. Wowie, now this is a pineapple mixed with the weed. Now, I, one thing I did notice with this one is the pineapple does kind of come through, but very, very lightly, but more heavy than the tropical punch. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a vape on this. Okay. 
Now this is the one that, this is the way I wanted the Hawaiian Dank to be. The pineapple comes through and then that weed is an afterthought. It's very light, it's very subtle. This is something I like. This is something that is, if you're gonna, hey, try this vape, this weed vape. This is something that it would be more my style. Even though I would prefer the flavor of the Tropical Punch over the pineapple, I really think that this one did it right. This one, and maybe like I said, it just the blends got mixed and wrong and this is the way the other one should taste, but I really kind of think the forefront of this should be the Tropical Punch and then the weed, just like this one is, the pineapple's the forefront and then the weed just kind of peeks in as an afterthought. This one's smooth and I could definitely vape this, but the other one I am going to have to mix with something to get rid of that overbearing artificial weed taste. And I mean, if you're going to do an artificial weed taste, that's how, you got to play with it. But you know, this one does taste like cheap dirt Mexican weed. This should taste like and smell like killer green bud. You know, if you're going to go for the weed thing, go for the full board, best weed you can find. Not some skag weed that you're going to get, you know what I mean? And I can't really judge because it's really kind of hard to get a hold of an illegal product and try to duplicate that because you can't get a hold of it. So you kind of just got to guess or play off a memory of you of having smoked it in the past or smelt it in the past. So I can't really knock it against them because they can't get a hold of an illegal product to try to compare it to. So I can't really knock them for it, but I would like to see them play with those flavors a little bit more and get more of a fruit forefront with that just kind of peeking in as an afterthought. That being said, though, this thing chucks. It's decent. I like this Maui Wowie, and I like the Gummy Bear. The only one out of the whole bunch that I didn't like was the Hawaiian Dank, and it's just because it's just too in your face with that fake weed flavor. And I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's not for me. Some people out there might enjoy that, so I can't really knock it. I can't say it's bad because taste is very subjective. The quality of the juice is there. It's very smooth. It's very good. It chucks nice, decent clouds. So, you know, Red Rock Vapor, definitely keep doing what you're doing. I really do recommend playing with that Hawaiian Dank recipe a little bit, kind of tweaking it and make it more of a fruit forefront and put that, that weed flavor as an afterthought. But, you know, you guys definitely are going to have a repeat customer out of me. I'm definitely going to come back and check out some more flavors. So thank you for sending me the juice for the review. Much appreciated. I know it took me a while to get the second part up, but like I said, I kind of wanted to push these on the back burner and let them steep as long as possible before I gave the review because I didn't just want to knock it because at first it was overbearing and the fruit did start to come through more the longer I waited. So thank you again for sending me the juice. I very, you know, I appreciate it. I do like the Maui Wowie. I do like the gummy candy. So check it out. Throw a link down here to Red Rock Paper. Go check them out. Also throw a link down to their Facebook. So you can go check them out on there. Give them a like. All right, remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more vape reviews, news, gamer shit, and just randomness that is my life. I'll give you one for the road. Now out of here.